Alright, next we're going to do is we're going to learn how to uh, find the distance between two points using absolute value. So, uh, the reason we can use absolute value to calculate distance is because it always has to be positive, and so does distance. So, uh, important concept to remember. Uh, there's an old adage, whenever you're building stuff or things like that, you can measure once and cut twice, or you can measure twice and cut once. And basically what that means is the more accurate you are in your measurement, the fewer amount of times that you'll have to cut and make mistakes. And uh, I kind of used that with my brother. We were working on his house and we were building a lot of things. And uh, what we had to do is we would measure stuff. So I would hold the tape measure and he would stretch it out and measure. And then I would go and grab the tape measure and he would hold it and I would stretch it out and measure. And uh, it wouldn't really matter. So if we're measuring two things, so say we're trying to figure out the distance from here and here. If this number is say five and this is nine, we could say the distance from 5 to 9 would be uh, 4, or to go from 9 to 5 would be 4. So the way we calculate this, the way we can uh, calculate distance, now this is obviously linear distance, so we're just finding the distance between two points. Uh, the distance we could do is you could say uh, A minus B and take the absolute value of that, or you could also do the distance uh, to be B minus A. So if we look at the example right here, uh, and it says uh, 5 minus 9, so 5 minus 9 uh, would be, 5 minus 9 would give us negative 4, the absolute value of negative 4 would be 4, down here 9 minus 5 will be 4, the absolute value of uh, 4 is 4. So you get the exact same thing, so that's basically what we would do to calculate distance between two values. So uh, that's the distance between two points using absolute value.